Question number nine. The negative plate of a parallel plate capacitor is given a charge of minus 20 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb. Find the charges appearing on the four surfaces of the capacitor plates. This is surface number one, surface number two, surface number three, surface number four. This plate has charge minus 20 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb. Now, here on surface 1 and surface 4, the net charge or charge on surfaces 1 and 4 will be equal to average of total charge on two plates. So here, this contains zero charge. This contains minus 20 to the power minus 8. So it will be equal to, suppose this is Q1. So it will be equal to minus 20 into 10 to the power minus 8 plus 0 divided by 2. That is minus 10 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb. Now, since this plate has zero charge, so on this surface, it is minus 10 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb. So to make it zero on surface number two, surface two, I charge plus 10 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb. So net charge on plate number 1, this is plate number 1, this is plate number 2. So must be 0. Now due to induction, surface 3 will have opposite to charge on surface 2. So that will be equal to minus 10 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb. Clearly, second plate will have charge minus 10 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb, which is charge on here fourth surface. And third surface has charge minus 10 to 10 power minus 8 coulomb. So total will be equal to the charge given to negative plate. And that is our answer. Now let's see next question. Question number 10. Three capacitors of three microfarad, two microfarad and six microfarad are connected in series with a 12 volt battery. So situation is like this. This is three microfarad. This is two microfarad and this is six microfarad. They are connected to a 12 volt supply. So charge on each capacitor will be same. So let's find out the charge Q equal to C equivalent times V. So here 1 upon C equivalent will be equal to 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 6 that is 6, this is 2 plus 3 plus 1, that will be 1. So C equivalent will be 1 microfarad. So now let's find out the charge. So Q will be equal to 1 microfarad times voltage, voltage 12. So it will be micro. So, since there are three capacitors, if we find total charge, so it will be sum of the charges. So, that will be equal to 12, 12, 12. That is total charge. It will be equal to 36 micro -pula. Now, all the connecting wires are disconnected and three positive plates are connected together and the same with the three negative plates. It means all three capacitors are connected in parallel. 
So the connection will be like this. So this is first capacitor. This is second capacitor. This is third capacitor. They all are connected in parallel. This is three micro microfarad, two microfarad, and this is six microfarad. And suppose voltage developed this time is B. Now, here charge is already given. So let's find out the new distribution of charge. In previous case, we had evaluated that charge on each capacitor is 12 microcoulomb. In this case, let's find out total capacitance. So C equivalent is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 6 microfarad. That is 11 microfarad. Now, we can apply Q equal to Cv. So for first one, it will be Q1 equal to C1 V. For second one, Q2 equal to C2V. And for third one, Q3 equal to C3V. So here, total charge is already given as 36 micro coulomb. So we can say that Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 equal to 36 micro coulomb and Q1 in this case is C1V, C1 is 3 microfarad. So we can take common V and then write 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 C1V plus C2V Q2. So this would be V is already common. So 2 into 10 to the power minus 6. And here it is 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 equals 36 into 10 to the power minus 6. So 10 power minus 6 will cancel out. And we will get V equal to 36 by 11 volt. Now we have got the value of V. So from here, Q1 equal to Q1 equal to C1 V and C1 is given as 3 microfarad, 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 and voltage we have got as 36 Y 11. So if we simplify it, so it will become 108 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 11 coulomb. Similarly, Q2. Q2 equal to C2V. So we write this value here. So Q2 equal to C2V. C2 is 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and voltage we have got as 36 by 11. So this will become 72 by 11 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. And C3, here C3 is 6 microfarad. So Q3 will be equal to C3V. So 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 into voltage we have got 36 by 11. So that will become 216 into 10 to the power minus 6 by 11 coulomb. Or we can write these in terms of micro coulomb by removing 10 power minus 6. So our answer will be 108 divided by 11 micro coulomb, 72 by 11 micro coulomb, and 216 divided by 11 microcoulomb. That is our answer. Thank you for watching.